So today's episode is going to be a fairly short one. We've just got two things that we have to do. First one is, uh, well, both of them really are to work on the coin system. So remember in the previous episodes, we started by placing, well, the one we did yesterday, I think, we started by placing um, coins along the scene of our level so that we can pick them up. In today's episode, we're going to go and create a spinning animation for that coin. So when you are walking down the the level, you can actually see the coin spinning. So it doesn't just look like it's a static uh, object in the scene. So we're going to go and do that. And then once we've done that, we're actually going to update the UI of the game so that we can make it look, well, not the UI, but the UI element of the collecting indicator of the coin. So in the top left corner, I think it was, let me show you actually. Over here, where is it? Over here in the coin, in the top left indicator on our canvas, we have the, these two indicators here. One is for our coins, one is for our health. Today, we're just going to go and update our coin one uh, and make it look better. So let's get started. And first thing, let's go and create that animation because that should shouldn't take long at all. So let's go back to our scene. So here are our coins now. If we do this to one of them, it should do it to all of them. So here's our coin prefab. Now, let's see, do we have to update anything on these? All oh, right, okay, now we don't. So let's go to our coin one. Now let's go and bring our animation tab. So where's that window? Animation, okay. So first of all, we have to look for our coins. So in our assets, let's go and say, actually, where is it? Animation, it should be in here, coin. Oh, cool. Clearly, we've already done it. Um, have we done it? Let's see. Maybe I forgot. Maybe we've done it already. Okay, we've done it, clearly. Never mind. So, scrap that. We're not doing that today. So, let's go and do our UI element. So, now I don't really understand why this keeps disappearing off of our screen. So, here's our canvas. Where's our canvas? There's our canvas. Every time we play the game and just jumps out of our screen that's a little bit of an annoying so let's see okay i'll fix that later but let's just go and update it so today it looks like we're just going to be updating our canvas so let's go to our coin indicator and let's delete this first of all and uh, actually we could leave that there because we'll use that text so let's go and see where is it first of all let's go let's bring our game to the side over here in the corner so we can see what it looks like so that's that's what it looks like oh that's that's why it keeps changing because when we change the size of the game the canvas moves maybe okay we need to change that but we'll do that in tomorrow's episode okay so let's go and do this so a coin is going to be here now we i believe we have some UI elements in our asset folder. So let's see, uh, scripts, animation, prefab scene, probably in here maybe, scene, UI pack, font, scenes, nope, PSD, okay, so no, okay, well this is, this over here, How do I show you this? Okay, so let me show you. This is what we're going to want it to look like. So this on the left here. Where did it go? Why does it keep jumping? This on the left here is... Oh my goodness, hold on. This here, hopefully that doesn't move. But this bit over here is going to be our health bar. And then the bit on the right is going to be our coin indicator. Coin indicator. So I'm not sure if they are both going to be on where we're going to put them on our actual scene in our game, but that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to have a coin indicator with an actual coin and then a little bit of a background as well as a text for it, just a text box displaying how many coins you have. And then the health bar is actually going to be a health bar which, which will reduce uh, in length, not so it will go up and down like that depending on how much health you have. So it's going to move up and down like that. And then, obviously, look by the looks of this, I don't know if we're going to display the number of health, but we might do. And then, uh, I don't know, we might have different pictures that we can display in here as well. So we'll, we'll look at that and see. But yeah, that's what it's going to look like eventually, hopefully, if we can get that to work. So let's go and start that. So now we need to 
look for these UI bits. So let's see, font, no, scene. Okay, well, while, while we're here, let's go to our inspector and let's change our font of our coin indicator. So this here needs to have... Actually, can I close this? Close tab. We don't need that in this episode. So we let's change this font and let's drag this in here. Hopefully that will work. So let's see. I can't remember. How do you... Font size... Um, There's a way to create the font. Oh, maybe you have to double click it. Does that open it up? Nope. Let's install that. Not that we need it. But I can't remember. How do we. Let's see. Font, text, font, and asset creator. There it is. Okay, so let's drag this font into here. And then let's create, generate fonts. And then that should give us access to that font, I believe. Save. Where do we want to save it? Let's say save it in the font. Okay, so now we should be able to use that, I think. I think that's how you do it. I can't remember. I haven't done it in a long time. Clearly not. But anyway, we'll figure that out in the, in the next episode. That's not that important. Let's go and figure out how to do our UI. So let's go and say coin. Let's just type that in and see what it comes up with. Okay, that's not going to work. So we need to find our assets that we are going to use and that should be in our UI pack scene sprite nope this might take a while to find tile set sprites animation no let's go and say UI okay so here's all our UI okay so this is what, this is what I was looking for so we want our coin so to do that we are going to have to add Let's add a empty object, and this is going to be coin indicator. And then we'll drag our text under it, and then under our coin indicator, we will add in a UI image. So let's go and place this over here. Now, if I scale this, does that change? No, it does. It actually kind of does. Okay, anyway, we'll deal with that later. So on our image, let's go and replace our image with the coin. So let's see, where's our coin? Where was it? It was over here somewhere. Okay, so we'll drag that into there. So that's going to be our coin. Now let's change the size to about 25 by 25. That's not bad. We'll put that over here for now. Then we also want another image. So create another empty object. No, what am I doing? Another image under that th UI image. And then this is going to be this one. I think that's the background we want, is it? Uh, I mean, we probably could use any of them. But let's choose one and see. Which one do we want? Actually, we'll go with this one. So we'll drag this one into there. And that we will use as our background. So our height is going to be 25. And then this will be about 50. Let's see if that looks good. So let's get rid of our animation tab because we don't need that. We've already done our animation. So image. We want our coin to be above. like that so this over here we want to be smaller or slightly smaller actually we let's make our actually let's bring this over here and then now we need to move where's our coin collector so we need to move this okay let's go and reset the position of that okay so that's fine coin indicator this we will put we'll keep our coin indicator in the top left somewhere over there all of that, let's just go and say 0, 0, uh, and then that should be fine. So now let's go and sort this out. Okay, so our coin, we'll leave that there. For our image, let's go and say, which one is this? This one is back text background. So I'm just renaming them so that we can actually see what they are and we don't get 
confused. So this one is going to be coin. Let's just leave it as coin. So we can make this a lot bigger. So let's say about 50 by 50 by 50. What does that look like? I mean, that's probably too big, but it's fine for now. Coin indicator over there. Then we want our actual coin to be somewhere over here. So we'll put it at zero. Our text background is also going to be this way. So let's bring this over here somewhere. But let's increase the size to about, what is our coin? Height is 50. Height, let's say about slightly less, about 40. And then our width is going to be a lot bigger. So let's say about 120, something like that. And then we want our coin indicator to be below that. And then we can go and position this in the middle, probably to the right, I guess. And then let's just increase the size to about 25. And then we can get, now that we've got the actual shape of the coin and the image, we don't really need it to say coin. So we can just go and say zero for now, because that is what you're going to start the game off on. And then I'm going to change the color of it to match the color of the coin using the eyedropper tool. I think that's what it's called to figure out what... what um what color it is so let's go and position this on the what am i doing coin indicator i'm supposed to be using that so let's go and put that on the top left and then we can move all of this somewhere over there so that should look a lot better okay so now i mean we're gonna have to fix our back i mean our text later on just when we get the correct font but that should do, okay, we need to go and change our script here because we don't want, where's our UI manager? We don't want it to say coins. So let's go and get rid of coins. And then we can just simply say dot text is equal to global dot coin count dot uh, two string. So that should be fine. And then that should format it as a string and place it instead of our zero. So everything should be fine. That should all work out now. Now if we play our game, we should be able to collect our coins and hopefully that updates. So our health is just randomly sitting there. And then now you can see we have a proper coin count indicator in the top left. So like I said earlier, I don't really know if this is going to stay in the left or the right, but we'll go once we've got the rest of the game UI, we might put that in the right and then have our health bar in the top left. We'll see uh, what looks better. But yeah, that's going to be it. And also, I think that's yeah, because we only put in nine. We only put in nine coins in the scene. So our health bar, I'm just gonna position in the left like that, and then I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit and put it there. So now, hopefully, hopefully that stuff won't move but you never know let's go and change the size of this scene okay so you can see now that our when we scale the size of our window uh, because we put those we what the anchor presets we changed them it, it now scales with the the screen itself so that's kind of a solution for now but we'll fix that later on but yeah that's going to be it for today's episode so if you made this far, thanks for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and watch the video that's on screen now, probably the previous one. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.